Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the session 3 of uh, How Computers Work series by TMK School. So this is Ari, your guide. So today uh, we will be discussing about the invention of a computer by Charles Babbage. Uh, I would highly recommend you to go through the text format after finishing this video. Also I have highlighted the important text in this article. So throughout the video uh, you can follow me easily. Now moving on, in this article we are going to discuss the invention of uh, the first computer which is differential engine and then analytic en engine that opened doors for the next generations uh, to uh, innovate the computer and, uh, and, and this was the reason, the first reason that made this impossible machine impossible like from the size of a huge building to the size where it can fit on your onto your or, uh, your wrist yeah uh, so in the early 19th century or especially the 1830 uh, there was a scientist named charles babbage who was so much into navigation and astronomy thought like what if i could uh, build build a machine that could do scientific calculations instead of relying on people for uh, doing these scientific calculations cause you know human prone errors are quite common and scientific calculations are something uh, that uh, that needs a lot of attention that human beings are lack of <laughs> so uh, the joking uh, so and then as a result he built this machine called differential engine that could do calcu scientific calculations uh, without the need of uh, these human beings uh, like the uh, people who work for calculations by the way, here is the uh, uh, fact. The word computer is a term in the 17th century or late until mid 20th century. Thus, this name was uh, used for people who used to do these scientific, these calculations work. So, computer is a job like painter or a uh, artist and so on. In the same way, computer is also a profession where the person would do calculations and then later on in the mid century it has been changed to given to machines okay yeah and then after finishing this machine in uh, 1837 charles babbage thought what if i could build even more generalized engine where it could think or and that's what we call it like a turing machine how it could think think here in the sense like by giving control statement okay if this happens i'll do this if this happens i'll do this or I'll, else i'll do this or by giving loops okay i'll run this statement or i'll run this number i'll multiply this number with this number up to n times or until i get this number these many decimals at the end sort of thing and uh, so these were the features he had added into this uh, new machine called analytical engine and uh, here is one more fact uh, the, uh, for this analytical engine uh, uh, he collaborated with a lady uh, named uh, Ada Lovelace and uh, she was the first software engineer in this world because uh, she, she was the one who wrote the whole documentation for this analytical engine. But as you know, uh, whenever a revolution comes, first they call you mad and then they follow you. In the same way, uh, uh, unfortunately, Babi's design was so hard, to, uh, so hard for UK government to understand and as a result uh, they have denied they had denied to give him funds and uh, unfortunately charles babbage died with the design and then it was after a 50 years his son henry babbage thought like he okay let me check whether my father is a real genius or not and then in 1888 he built this uh, machine using his father's design and it exactly worked and if you want to see this uh, machine still you can uh, just search a uh, computer history museum uh, you can see here and the babbage engine you can see here. it seems to be my internet is slow yeah here you can see you can youtube also uh, there also you can see so uh, with that we have finished about uh, the invention of the first computers uh, the first one is differential engine and the second one is analytical engine also before uh, concluding this session there is, uh, here is the end note if charles babbage can build 
a computer in the absence of internet in the presence of internet where you and me can get anything any data at our fingertips how much can we do so that's the question uh, we have to question uh, every day when the moment we wake up early in the morning to the night we sleep so that i think in our lifetime at some point of time we too can do something or at least we try to do something so that is all thank you so much uh, for joining this series i see you in the next session thank you